Well, you may have heard about fluoride and how it's so great for your teeth, helps to strengthen the enamel of your teeth. Well, did you know that there's a dark side of fluoride? And I'm going to talk about 10 fluoride toxicity symptoms that you need to be aware of in terms of having too much fluoride in your system. Okay, number one on my list is low levels of calcium, but also low levels of magnesium as well. So you can imagine how that can implicate your cellular metabolism, the health of your bones, if you become low in calcium because of that fluoride toxicity. Okay, number two on my list is joint pain. So is your toothpaste actually causing some of your joint pain? I don't know. And this is something that we have to ask ourselves these questions as to how we can minimize our toxicity load in general, but very specifically for fluoride as we're talking about in this video, because these are things that often don't seem related, but they are. Okay, number three on my list, also something that you wouldn't expect would be osteoporosis and low bone density. Remember back to point one with low calcium and other minerals that could be compromised in their absorption because you've got that fluoride toxicity. Remember fluoride is in the halogen group and it will displace other minerals in our body because it really does have a strong affinity for absorption over other elements that are in the periodic table. Okay, number four on my list is high levels of potassium. So hyperkalemia, this is very common and I find this in the aging population. You have your blood work done and your doctor says that your potassium is high and then the doctor says, oh, you should start to avoid high potassium containing foods. Well, the question is, why is the potassium high? Is it dietary? Usually not it could be related to that fluoride toxicity. Okay, number five on my list is white specks or streaks or yellow or brown discoloration in the teeth. And here's sort of a scary correlation they have found now in the research that fluoride sometimes makes you more prone to cavities. So isn't that something that is, you know, not so much talked about in terms of fluoride toxicity. Okay, number six on my list is headaches. And again, headaches can be related to a number of different things, but it could be related to that fluoride toxicity as well. Number seven, breast tenderness. Now remember fluoride being a halogen will displace iodine. Iodine really important, of course, for your thyroid function, but for healthy breast tissue as well. And this is where iodine, there's a huge amount of iodine in our breasts and often chronic breast tenderness can be related to an iodine deficiency. Now that's related back to the fluoride which has displaced that iodine. Number eight on my list, another fluoride toxicity symptom is muscle weakness and spasms. Remember it is displacing calcium and magnesium and other important minerals. So this could be related to your muscle weakness and spasms. Number nine on my list is chronic fatigue, lack of energy in general. This could be related back to your iodine being displaced and affecting your thyroid gland, but just for the fact that you have a toxicity now of this halogen, the fluoride, your body is working to detoxify and becomes overwhelmed, causing that chronic fatigue. And number 10, the last symptom I'll talk about today is gastrointestinal disorders, as that's related to your fluoride toxicity. Okay, so in another video, I do talk about some unforeseen places where you may be getting fluoride exposures, not just in your toothpaste. And I want you to learn more there because you're going to be shocked. So check out my video, Fluoride, How to Avoid Fluoride Exposure. I'll see you there.